We're back now with a brand new warning about the mosquito-borne illness, Triple E. While summer is quickly coming to an end, mosquitoes are sticking around for a little bit longer, and the virus has now been found in six different Connecticut towns. NBC Connecticut's Leslie Mays joining us now with what health officials want us all to look out for. Leslie. Uh, yeah, Keisha, it is a major issue that folks are saying that we need to definitely pay attention to. You'll remember, of course, that Triple E has not really posed a major problem in Connecticut since before the pandemic. It was in 2019 that several people died died from the virus. State health officials, though, they do not want a repeat of any of that now in 2023, which is why they've now sent out this alert about these latest infected mosquitoes. The virus was first detected in late August, and uh, over the last couple of weeks, we've um, seen the virus spread to new towns. The leader of the center responsible for testing Connecticut's mosquitoes for triple E and other illnesses says the discovery of triple E infected mosquitoes in six towns is something every resident needs to pay attention to, especially in cities and towns in the eastern part of the state. We are urging residents that they continue to take protective measures against mosquito bites. That is the first line of defense. As of this week, the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station has captured mosquitoes positive for Triple E in Hampton, Killingly, Thompson, Tallinn, Voluntown, and Woodstock. 2019 was the last time Connecticut saw a major surge in Triple E cases. Three people in the state died after being infected. Some schools and other venues canceled outdoor activities and events as a precaution. After years of no major activity, Armstrong says this is cause for some concern but not alarm, and there's a hope that the virus won't have enough time to become a major issue. Right now, currently, the risk is not as high as 2019, um, and the good news is the virus emerged later in the year, so uh, the, vi the virus will have less opportunity to amplify and, and continue to spread. We still have many more weeks left of, of mosquitoes, uh, mosquito activity, and the unusually warm weather is not helping. And the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station says they have added more testing sites in eastern Connecticut and will be testing there more often. It's expected that once the first frost comes, concern about Triple E will subside for the year as it does every year. But in the meantime, you want to use precaution. Leslie Mays, NBC Connecticut News.